Yeah, uh, two of them are puffed up. One of the reasons why we know that we would be able to identify, for instance, the novel coronavirus is that this coronavirus does share some similarity to SARS coronavirus from 2003, the sequence of which is already in the database. In addition to that, this novel coronavirus also shares some sequence similarity to bat coronaviruses, which are also in the database. And as a result, uh, this will enable us to be prepared if we have a test such as this that can also be done in a few hours. This would enable us to be prepared pretty much for any uh, outbreak, uh, no matter what is causing it. Uh, it's our hope that the CRISPR test that we're CRISPR-Cas test that we're currently developing for the coronavirus, it's our hope and expectation that we can have it as soon as a, a month or two to actually have it being used um, in the field. Um, and it would be, a, uh, I believe that there would be high demand for this test, not only in the United States for screening for potential patients, but even overseas, such as in China or other countries, which are, uh, with, such as China, which are uh, greatly being affected by the virus, by the viral outbreak and the inability to comprehensively screen for this virus.